okay guys in this tutorial we will learn how to add the speckle noise within an image inside the MATLAB so for it first of all we will make a GUI that is the graphical user interface so for it first of all you need to write guide within the command window so actually uh, what's the meaning of guide GUI is for graphical user interface and DE is for development environment so press enter and it will lead to you the guide quick start then press ok and here we will get our platform for creating a GUI for speckle noise so first of all we need a topic that is the what you can say the title of the GUI so go to the background color and change it to play and uh, font size font size of the text must be 20 font weight must be bold for better visuality and uh, this static text must be speckle noise so in in a matlab image okay also foreground color so we must have to choose foreground color as orange so okay now we can see that we have Develop the title after it we need to take one push button and drag it inside the platform or this uh, GUI window double click on it and uh, change its title from push button to speckle noise header so press enter and cut it so we, we we made our button then used to take these axes two axes one here and one or you can make the other one by control C and control V so okay now we have two axes in which we will show original image and then uh, corrupted by the noise so okay right click on this button go to view callbacks and then click on callback also save it with the name is noise 2 or noise 3 or save okay now we are in the callback of push button 1 so here we will take a variable like p any random variable it is not that it you, you must not uh, have to necessarily declare it as p you, you you can write it like k or anything like that so also write m read of peppers dot png so what actually peppers dot png is it is actually a a built-in or by default image in the, the directory of MATLAB so that is why we are reading it image read is doing the reading of this image of type dot png and all the image will be stored inside the k inside the k so m show of k what it will do that now after the reading and uh, after the reading and storing of image within the k now we are going to show the image k within uh, one of our axis so what need to do that we are supposed to write axis handles dot axis one so okay we are supposed to run it and now you can see that we we 
uh, for this image now we, we have to add speckle noise and it will show it in the axis 2 and one more thing why we are using that axis handles dot axis 1 because it will direct our image to be shown inside the axis 1 if I will write axis 2 you will see that it will be inside the axis 2 so let it be axis 1 again control C and control V and here right axis 2 now uh, we will add some noise so declare a variable noise uh, underscore s that is speckle is equal to so noise underscore s is just a variable you must have to uh, like uh, understand this thing that these are just the variables like noise underscore s and k and all these things you can change them uh, as up to your choice so noise underscore s is equal to m noise now what is m noise m noise is actually a command which will add noise within the image so here we will write uh, the image name that is k because our image is stored inside this k then what sort of noise uh, it needs to be added that is the speckle and also set its intensity that how much noise you need okay so after it him show of noise underscore s noise underscore s so now we will run it and click on the noise pickle noise adder and now you can see that uh, the image on the left side is like uh, is having nothing uh, like a thing like a noise but on the right hand side we can see a lot of noise uh, you can see and this type of noise is called as the speckle noise some other noises are like Gaussian and salt and pepper or white Gaussian but this one is speckle noise so hopefully you got the concept the link of the files are given in the description you can download and use them so hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching